In this video, we'll be talking about the structure of tRNA. That is transfer RNA. And as the name tells us, transfer, they help in transporting or transfer of amino acids. tRNA is the smallest RNA and it is also known as soluble RNA. And the reason why it is known as soluble RNA because it dissolves in 1 m NaCl solution. That's why soluble RNA. It is also single stranded. All RNAs are single stranded that we are talking of. So it is single stranded. But because of formation of bonds between the nitrogen bases of the same strand, it has gained a shape which is clover leaf like. So it is clover leaf like the shape. Now let us see the structure of this RNA. This RNA has three arms and loops. There is a small projection which is considered as vestigium. This is the third arm or loop and this is the other end. So there are two ends and that is why we say there is a single standard one. This is the fifth prime, this is third prime. And because of this bonding between the bases in the same strand, this shape is obtained. On the third carbon, it is a, C, C, which is always there, the code, the last code, which is present on the third one. And as this is the third carbon, OH is free here, that is the functional group. That means this is the place where the amino acid is going to come and bind and then it is going to transfer it. So this particular position is known as amino acid binding site. The site or the position at which amino acids are going to bind. The lowermost arm or the loop is known as anticodon arm or loop. The reason it is known as anticodon arm because it has an anticode. If this is say the mRNA and mRNA has a code say AUG. tRNA has to read this code and attach to that corresponding amino acid and bring it to this mRNA. And how is this tRNA going to read this? It should have an anticode here. If it is A, what should come in front of the is that means A can pair with T but this is RNA so no T here it is going to be U. U pairs with A and G pairs with C so this is going to be the anticode and that is why this arm is known as anticodon arm. This arm is anticodon arm. The loop which is towards the third prime is known as T loop. It is also called GTPCG. This P is actually written like this and it is pseudo uracil or pseudo uridin. And that is why we many a times represented by, by P. There is a T here that means thiamine. Normally T's are not there in RNAs but here is a T. So this is the T loop. It is also known as GTP-CG loop. So this or the function of this is ribosome recognition.
That is why it is known as ribosome recognition site. This loop is known as D loop. And the reason why it is known as D loop is because it has dihydrouracid. Because there is dihydrouracid and that is why it is known as D loop. The function D loop or D I H U loop. The function is it helps in amino acid recognition. So this is amino acid recognition site. Now let us sum up the three parts or four parts rather. This RNA is a single stranded structure. One end is fifth carbon free, other end has third carbon free. But because of bonding between the nitrogen bases of the same strand, it gets a clover leaf shape. There are three loops or arms. Third end is extended beyond the fifth. Third end always has the CCA sequence and here OH or the functional group is free. Because of this functional group, the amino acid is going to bind here. So third end of the strand is the amino acid binding site. Then there are three loops. The lowermost loop is known as anticodon loop. It reads the code on mRNA and to read that, it has an anticode of that code which is on mRNA. The loop which is towards the third carbon is known as T loop because of presence of a thiamine. And there is also one uh, different um, type of nucleotide which is called pseudo uracil. So it is known as GTPCG loop. The function is it recognizes ribosome. So it is called ribosome recognition site. The loop or the arm which is present towards the fifth end of the strand is known as D loop. The reason why it is known as D is it has dihydrouracil and so DIHU loop. The function of this is amino acid recognition. This arm is going to recognize the amino acid. That amino acid is going to bind here. This arm is going to read the code and this arm will identify to which ribosome this tRNA has to take that amino acid. So all these things work in coordination and this tRNA brings that amino acid to ribosome where it helps in protein synthesis. So this is the structure of tRNA. It is the smallest RNA also known as soluble RNA. Shape is clover leaf like but it is a single standard structure. Now in the next video we will talk about the third type of RNA that is